Good morning, everyone. We'll continue here. Bilvavi Mishkan Evna, speaking about this pasuk. Ta'amu uru ki Hashem. Taste and see how good our Kaddish Baruch Hu is. And we're working on trying to make this a reality by us that you actually have the spiritual taste buds to enjoy the flavor of the Rebbeinu Shailam, his Torah and his mitzvahs. As we said last time, it's supposed to be geschmack. It's supposed to be pleasurable. It's supposed to be that when you daven, you can taste the sweetness of davening. When you learn, you can taste the sweetness and the depths of the learning. When you're involved in a chesed, there's a, a feeling, an emotional world of flavor and of taste, of the geshmak of doing a chesed, and so on and so forth. All of the mitzvahs are like that. And that brings a person to the ultimate simcha in this world. Ki yadua, he writes, it is known. Tachlis habriyuhu lehetiv l'nivrayim. The purpose of the entire creation is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted to bring good to His creations, to His creatures, to us. At the center of the universe is man. And the center of man is Klal Yisrael. Which means that the whole purpose of this creation is for one thing and one thing only. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants Klal Yisrael to be able to derive the greatest amount of benefit out of this world. Well, what exactly is that Atava, that goodness that HaKadosh Baruch has placed away and designed so perfectly for his Nevroim, for his creatures? And again, let's take it from Klal So, What exactly is it that HaKadosh Baruch Hu put into this world that will allow a Jew to have the greatest and maximum amount of pleasure here, even in this world? The ultimate pleasure, we'll say, is going to be in the world to come, where the body is going to be unmasked and the nisham is going to be thriving in a way that it never did before. It will come in total contact with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But I feel even in this world, a person has the kayak, they have the ability to be able to have a tremendous amount of spiritual pleasure. What is it that HaKadosh Baruch Hu set aside for us? Tamu uru ki Taste and see that Hashem is good. And then he quotes a, a, a line from the Mesil Sisharim. And besides that, meaning besides coming in contact with the goodness of the Rebbein Yishayim, Mashiach Shuv B'nei Adam L'tayv, that which people think is good, a nice car, a fancy house, a good vacation, a, a juicy piece of steak, a big ice cream, Sunday, so on and so forth, whatever it is that people label as being good in this world, if you ask around in the world, what is good, you'll get a whole long list, probably of things, of objects, of people's desire, of properties, of land, of trips, of vacations, of beauty and culture and money and the like. You get a long, long list of things. But whatever it is that people think is good, it's nothing more than vanities and emptiness. There's nothing, deceitful emptiness. There's nothing there. It's the smokescreen of this world that what the world tries to make you believe is the good thing. It's really nothing there except total abandonment from the ultimate goal of this world, which is to be close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And as we are saying over here, to taste the goodness that HaKadosh Baruch is offering us. There's no other good in this world besides getting close to Hashem. That's good. If you are not getting close to Hashem, then by definition, you are not pursuing good. If you are someone whose life is his karvus, is getting closer to the Rebbe Yishalom, then you are a person that is good and is pursuing good all the days of their life. In order for a person to feel this deep down in their heart, and to taste the sweetness that is buried deeply inside of them. Meaning, there is no real good, and in the only way that you're going to access that is, or the only way you're going to get there, is if you can begin to see and to taste and to come in contact with the ultimate sweetness that is inside of you. And that's why the Torah itself is called 
Toiv, good. Ki lekach toiv. It is a good taking. Ki ayidei al yodoi, because through the Torah, ha'adam yachal litoi mes ha'kodesh baruch kevi yachal. It is only through the Torah that a person is going to truly be able to taste, so to speak, the Rebbein Nishayim and come in true contact with Hashem. And therefore, the more that one immerses themselves in Torah study and the keeping of the mitzvahs, and that includes our tefillahs, our prayers, and our chesed, and controlling our yitzharas and everything, then and only then will you come to the place where you are able to taste the goodness of the Rebbein Nishayim even here in this world. Have a wonderful day.